All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chen, and hopefully everyone had a good weekend. And the stupid microphone continues to be plugged in. So I'm actually in a really huge rush because right now we've got, you know, it's obviously Monday. Mar uh, you know, everything's now open. I can't stand having to adjust this camera every time. Okay, all right, well, I guess I should have done this before I hit the record button, but I'm literally, like, right now, it, things are just so, so busy. So first and foremost, I'm just going to try to do a really quick video, because uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to buy more Sphere, because that's been going up, how I'm going to short Twitter, which I think I pretty much have figured out, so I want to get in before, I mean, opening bells in like 32 minutes. And that's right, I should probably log into my stock market account because once it hits 9.30, everyone's going to try to log in at the same time and then the site doesn't work. And then it's like, oh, God, now I have to wait for everybody to get in before I get in. And then, like, yeah, it's just like in real life, you know, you're crowding outside the stock exchange and then, like, if there's too many people there, then you can't get in. And then other people on the inside get to do their trades before you do and then you get screwed. Okay. So, yeah, so there's just a lot of stuff. So let's try to go through it one at a time quickly. So right now, we've got a major inflation report coming out this Wednesday, like I've been talking about the past few weeks already, right? The June 2022 CPI report. That's why everyone's, like, freaking out right now. So there's a massive fear trade going on. Stocks are down. Crypto's down slightly or somewhat. Dollar is way stronger, right? I mean, we're talking almost a dollar, like a 1% up. And of course, when we look at the bond market, you know, they're way down. The yields are way down. Like, fear and panic is, like, all over the place, which I'm okay with, because as long as this is legitimate uh, bond buying, then, as not the central banks, then that actually means, you know, well, the inflationary impact of central banks buying the U.S. debt markets, you know, it, I mean, there, it just doesn't happen here, because this is real people buying, all right? So, you know, uh, Greg Manuel still has his uh, bias, all right? But, I, I mean, I guess I'll talk about it until, uh, until he changes his mind. 64% of that kind of don't want to buy in 2024. Yeah, they just, uh, yeah, they just want a different oh, Alright, I do this real quick. I mean, I haven't had a chance to, you know, do my Twitter stuff. Alright, so I haven't looked at any of the crypto accounts because, like, you know, Crypto Oil or Crypto Capo, but, I mean, they're probably not going to have much new to say because, really, everything moves on news. Alright, so that means this coming Wednesday. And to be honest, cryptocurrencies have been holding up pretty well. I mean, I might even just say this might actually be the bottom for crypto. Like, it just doesn't, like, it touched, like, 17k briefly. But uh, it's holding, it's resisting pretty well. So we'll have to see. Um, let's see. So Elon Musk broke the deal off with Twitter, and then Twitter is down like a shit ton of money right now. So let's see. Let's go over here. It's in fact trending on uh, Yahoo. So it went down a lot in after hours. It's down out, down a lot now. I'm thinking I'm going to buy an October put for Twitter. And then, you know, I usually just buy the out of the money stuff, but I don't buy too many of these, right? Wait, this is not the right date. So October 21st. Actually, how much is the December one? I want my a little extra time, but I only want to hold on to these for like a month and then just dump it. Uh, yeah, it's actually more expensive by twice. Also, the price increments are, you know, a lot crappier too. All right, so I'll probably just do the October ones then. So, let me just see I can make a little bit of quick cash off of this, but still going to be very highly speculative, so I'm not going to buy too much. Like, at most, like, $200 worth. Um, yeah, and in fact, these are prices from Friday, so these are going to be more, even more expensive. I don't know. I'll just have to see. Maybe I'll get lucky, and they'll release $19 strikes today. I don't know. Well, I, see, I have to figure it out, so, because I might actually just buy one, like, close to the money, right? which is a lot more expensive than just buying one of those. 
All right, so like I said, I'm kind of in a rush. Um, again, there's not really much to say. The markets are actually starting to be uh, possibly price in a full one percentage uh, point increase in the Fed funds rate this later this July, which is kind of insane. So everyone's actually thinking inflation is still going to be much higher than expected, or at least as high as 8.6% this coming Wednesday. All right, but I've already said that we've already looked at the commodities prices across the board. All right, they they've all been going down. All right, they've all been going down. Let's see. And then markets are not open right now, so I don't know if these are going to be going up. But even if they did, I mean, they're still really far down from you know the bottom. All right. Now it is starting to show up. A, now this is a pretty nice looking big spike. So. If it keeps going up and up and up, so even if June inflation this Wednesday comes in lower, if these commodity prices keep going back up to like what it was in May, March, or at least March in this case, May and you know June in some other cases, but mostly May, well then yeah, inflation is going to be higher. But on the other hand, we'll already have the interest rate hike, and yeah, even a full percentage point is going to be pretty nuts. So I think it might. So I think for this particular uh, situation, because May and March, June, and we've already did the research, or I did the research in the previous videos for the past couple of weeks, right? My prices were lower. I'm thinking this should still be lower than expected, but I'm not really sh too sure. This is the first time I'm actually testing something this, something like this out, because I don't know what the lag time is, and there could be other factors too. Uh, even if commodity prices are lower. You know, maybe prices are still going to be high because, you know, supply chain BS, you know, energy prices are too high for factories to run. All right. I didn't actually know that the reason why my aluminum foil is so expensive now, aside from inflation, is that aluminum factories are actually shutting down. And they're shutting down because they don't have enough energy to, I mean, they don't have enough money to keep up with the energy costs to maintain the production of aluminum and all that stuff. So it's like a huge cluster of it's a huge cluster of. Anyway, today's going to be a fear trade, so you want to, I mean, I'm just doing a short uh, Twitter. I'm not doing anything else because most of my money is in Jeppy or JP Morgan, which isn't really that much anyway. JP Morgan C-Class and Jeppy, all right, just very defensive, safe stocks. In fact, it looks like JP Morgan C-Class has gone up a lot in value, so this is fantastic, despite the, despite the markets going up. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I could ramble on about, like, ungrateful assholes on, uh, you know, crypto projects, especially Stable Fund app, which actually surprised me a lot because I've said nothing but nice things about it. But people are downloading the hell out of it. It's really pissing me off, right? But, I mean, there have been four people that subscribed to the channel, so thank you, by the way. Like, you didn't actually subscribe, and I saw that it was zero. I would have honestly decided I might actually just delete the video and start trashing the project or something. Just, just to get my revenge. Because if there's one thing I don't actually like is when I do nice things for free and then people shit all over it. It's like, what is your effing problem? Right? You know, you're getting free exposure. I'm saying nothing but nice things. And, like, you're still an asshole. Like, what the fuck? You know? So, I don't know. But either way, um, you know, I, at first, I, you know, everything looks okay. And I did actually see in the Telegram that the owner of the project said that if he could get to ten million dollars, or at least someone else said that, he's going to apply to the SEC. So once he does that, and if they actually if the SEC does actually approve it, then I'll probably know that Stable Fund is actually a very legit project because he did just withdraw like six hundred thousand dollars from the Binance dollar contract. <laughs> so I'm like, e okay, uh, you know, because that's the thing. Like, if he wanted to scam people, he could just pull everything from the contract whenever he wants. So there's a lot of there's a lot of danger and trust involved, but I mean so far it's working out okay. So all right. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, it's the old stupid outro. Whatever, I guess I can't help it. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share this video around. You know, thank uh, thank you again to all the old and new people watching this channel. And uh, welcome, welcome, and thanks. Uh, again, not really much to talk about because I've already been talking about it like crazy. We're just waiting for this coming Wednesday. And today is a fear trade. So everyone's just paranoid because they're scared of what's going to happen Wednesday. So you can decide what you want to do with that. I mean, I'm already defensive, so I don't really care. And i got to get to trading because I need to short. Uh, I need to buy some puts on uh, Twitter.
Right, I'm gonna. Unfortunately, it's already too late to short it. Apparently, because Crypto Whale said to short it when he said it, which was back in April. Now it's July, so. Oh well. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. It probably might be the same thing tomorrow, but hopefully I won't have so many things happening at once in the markets. Because right now I got there's just too many opportunities, but not enough money as always. So I gotta like figure out what the hell to do. And of course. BNB miner is draining like crazy. Like I think it might, like I suspected it would, because I saw the contract growth starting to peak and then start coming down. You know, start to come down. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, all right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, actually, not too bad. Eleven minutes. So yeah. I I, I don't know. All right. See you all tomorrow. I'll let you go. Thanks. And uh, you know, happy trading.